Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to unmute my mic again. I'll, I'll introduce it again. <laughs> Sorry, okay. So what I was saying earlier was that I'm going to be making uh, stickers today. Hopefully I can make a design from scratch and then I can make the whole sticker today. And if we have time, I'll do a second design. But the design that I'm doing today is I'm doing like a patch of crystals. I'm making a sticker for my friend and she requested that I make some crystals. So I just pulled some images off of um, Google and I'm going to use them as reference. I tried auto tracing it, as you can see it didn't work perfectly, but um, that's what we're going to use for now. So let's get back to it. <laughs> Godspeed on making a speedy sticker, hopefully, we'll see. This one could okay, could be very simple or it could be a little bit difficult. What, we're, what I'm trying to decide is if I want to make the whole sticker one color with just a black outline, or if I want to make like each side a different color. I feel like that could look cool, but it could also be, it could take a little bit longer. So, <laughs> but that would only take longer, longer on the sticker machine, not on here, I think. So this is what I got when I auto traced it. So I'm going to click, um, edit paths by nodes over here. It's the, um, pointer with the squares and I'm going to go ahead and delete all the single crystals. Cause we just want, um, we just want the, like the patch of crystals. And you can just drag a square over the nodes and then hit the backspace button and that'll delete everything. That's what I do. I just think it's pretty fast. And I just go in, I try to delete as many as I can. Just because it makes it a little bit easier to see what you're working with. Okay, this is what we have. I'm gonna delete these little crystals over here. I'm using these as reference images because I think I'm just going to use the big crystals, but I'm not going to do the little ones because I think the detail will get lost there anyway. And um, the drawing that my friend sent as reference has four crystals and they were all about the same height. So I'm just going to focus on that. Um, what program is this? This is Inkscape. I'm using Inkscape right now. It's a free software that you can download online. 10 out of 10 recommend. I've been using it this whole semester. It's been pretty easy to learn. So. That's what we're using. We're using Inkscape to design the sticker, and then we're gonna use um, the Cricut Design Space to actually print it. But I'll show you how to print it when we get there. Right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save my document just because you wanna always make sure to save. Otherwise, if you try to like export it and something goes wrong, you can't recover your file. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let me save it to my flash drive. And now that I saved it, we can move on. Or it's loading, okay. What color would it be if it was just one? I'd probably do red or orange. I feel like those are crystal colors or maybe pink. I think pink, pink would be cool. If we're making st stickers today, I have a suggestion for one. Ooh, do say, maybe I'll have time to make. So let's see, I'm gonna try do dragging this and I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete this one because I like this one a little bit better. And I'm gonna turn it, oh, wait. I'm gonna select it, and I'm gonna hit black in the corner to turn it black. And I, now I'm gonna edit the nodes just to see like what I can do with this. So like things like right here, this is too thin. Like if I try to cut out with the sticker, it's not gonna be that great. So, but I, I do like how it didn't just trace it as lines. It kind of like made it thicker because that'll make it easier for the whole, um, if the whole outline to like cut out better. Because I'm thinking we could do this two ways. We could cut out the whole crystal shape and then stick the black outline on, on top. Or we could um, cut out the black outline and then just like fill in these um, middle parts, but. I think I'm gonna put the black on top because I think it'll look more realistic. Can you draw me a new brain? Mine is starting to spark and I'm a little worried. <laughs> Maybe I'll make a brain sticker. It could be a little complicated. <laughs> okay. So this is a mess on the bottom. So I'm gonna focus on the top right here and I'm just gonna try to get rid of anything that's too thin. So like this is too thin. I'm just gonna delete right here. These are kind of close. Like I would probably move these further apart. 
because you want to make sure that like I'm gonna be cutting this. This is a negative space. I don't want to make it harder for myself by making things too like close. So starting on the top, this part looks kind of thin, so I would drag that away. You can also use the arrow keys to move things. I like just using the arrow keys and like hitting the down space bar or something like that. Not the down space bar, the down arrow key. <laughs> this looks kind of thin, so I would probably move this. Um, yeah, this is honestly pretty easy. This is why I like auto tracing images because I think it's a lot like easier than doing it from scratch. Depends on what you're doing though, like sometimes Tracing it from scratch can be worth it, but depending on what you're doing, actually, tracing it from scratch is faster. I'm just so used to auto trace that I just use that, but would recommend it. Like things like this, I'd probably just want this to connect. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna zoom in here. You can just zoom out to make sure it still looks like a crystal, and I think it does. So like this, I'm just hitting the arrow key to move it. You can also hit these, like the little circles, to change the angle. I do that too. That makes it a little bit easier. Like stylistically, the th making it thinner would make sense, but it makes it harder to cut it out as a sticker, so. Oops. Wrong nose. And I'm just gonna connect things where I can. Like the less lines for us to cut out the better so like these up here i think these can be connected and i'll connect these anything else we should connect like right here i'm gonna connect these this is like one of those things that like, it could be a little bit time consuming, but I think it's worth it. <laughs> Again, it's up to you. If you do want to, if you do want to manually um, do stuff, you can. I just think it's a little bit faster. Not faster. I don't think it's faster. I think I just like to edit the nose instead of drawing it from scratch. Because <laughs> you know what it is? If you draw stuff from scratch, you have to like change the angles of the curves and I I personally do not like doing that like what I'm talking about is like so if you hit the nodes you can change like the angles of the lines like this and I don't really like doing that to like make it more accurate it's like I think it's it's more of a pain but depending on who you ask it comes down to personal preference <laughs> a lot of people prefer to trace because you get more control over it but I let go of the control for peace of mind <laughs> Okay, sticking the back on top sounds cleaner. I think so too. Um, it's that time of the semester. Nothing beats a custom design. I should probably embrace auto trace and good luck with the stream. I need to get back to watching lectures at 14 times speed. Oh yeah, good luck on your finals. Uh, good luck catching up on your lectures. <laughs> okay, so the top looks correct to me. Now we're gonna handle this whole bottom situation. So this is very messy. <laughs> so what we're actually going to do is see if we can cover the bottom with some flowers. So I'm referencing, I, if you can't tell, I have, I have my phone in front of me with some reference photos. My friend actually drew it. I could have just traced her design, but I don't know. I want to choose something online. Because <laughs> she tried, um, she was like, oh, if you can do a gradient, let me know. And I was like, I can't do that, but... <laughs> I can make it multicolored maybe, but okay. So she just covered the whole base with flowers. So I'm gonna see if I can pull some flowers off of Google. If not, maybe we'll try them from scratch, but let's see. Flowers drawing. 
you can search up like almost anything to get like what you want. You do like flowers drawing, flowers PNG, transparent background, anything. Okay, one of the first search results. I like it. Okay, so let me paste it in. You can just copy and paste the um, images in, and it works completely fine. So, so here is one. And let me just look to see if there's anything closer to what she's sent, just in case. She drew two flowers, and one of them was pointy and another one was circular. So I'm just gonna go with one, <laughs> and hope it's close enough. <laughs> I'm using her drawing as inspiration, but <laughs> not trying to do it exactly. Okay. So this is the other drawing example we have. I'm trying to decide on which one I want to do. This one is like, personally I like to, if I'm making stickers, I like to make sure the design is more flat. I don't know if that's the correct term, but like if you know a flat illustration doesn't have any shading in it, it's just lines and oftentimes it's like um, clear shapes. Like personally I think this the on the left side is a little bit more clear. Although this could be if I got rid of the details on the inside. Let me look at it for a second and decide. Um, what should I do? I think I'm gonna go with the one on the right, just cause I think it's a, uh, if you think about it, like I have to do like black outlines for the petals and I feel like the five petals is easier than this, even though I like this better, but we're gonna just go with the five petal flower cause I think it'll be a little bit easier. And I'm gonna hit trace bitmap again, which is shift alt B. If you're following along, it's under the path um, tab on the toolbar. <laughs> so I'm gonna hold this and I'm gonna press auto trace. So up here, press auto trace. And this is a black and white image. I'm gonna go with a single scan. And I'm gonna hit update and I'm gonna press okay. And we'll see if it worked. So the um, image that is not transparent is your like original image. And then your transparent image is the vector. So I'm gonna go in and delete everything that's not the single flower because that's the only one I care about. And then bring it in. And I'm gonna hit black again to make the black outline. Printers don't handle gradient well. Yeah. Because I'm making it out of vinyl, I honestly don't know how I would even <laughs> do a gradient, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, so that's why I'm trying um, the flat illustration. So I'm gonna hit the vectors on this and I'm gonna zoom in and just like delete a bunch of these. I'm gonna just clean it up. Okay, so deleting all of this. I wanna see if I could make this like more of a straight line, but I don't know. Play press control Z, okay. And then I'm just gonna try to connect all of these. Sometimes this is kind of a hassle. Like honestly, maybe I should just trace this, manually trace this one. Here. I'm gonna try for like a minute and if I can't clean it up that fast I'll switch Let's see. sometimes I clean stuff up too much and then you don't really know if it'll look good like after you're done <laughs> that has happened to me before like where I put in all the effort into like cleaning up the image and then like the cleaned up image doesn't even look as nice so then I just start all over <laughs> okay and then these like See, there's like a blank space here, so I would have to connect those. 
You technically don't have to, but I want to. <laughs> yeah, technically, if you don't want to make this a clean outline, you actually don't have to. Because they're putting the black on top, like, if I just wanted to leave it like this, I could. <laughs> I just think it doesn't really make much sense. And you can uh, hit curve on these to like make it curve. This is low key hassle. Overworking is definitely a conundrum. Having a broken line in between the color can be a style. It can. I think it, d it would look cool. Depending on what you're going for, I, it could look cool, honestly. If you want to try it out, like if you honestly don't want to edit the vector, like this is the outline that you want, you could try it. I don't think it would look bad. I guess I'm trying to make it an outline because I think it would be easier to cut out. Not sure if that's actually true, but that's what I'm telling myself. leave some blank spaces just because I don't really know how to connect it in some places you know what maybe I will just trace this I mean there's so little left to fix but it just looks strange like here let me try making this a curve sometimes it could just get a bit confusing I honestly don't know how exactly this would print, but because I am kind of overlapping a lot of stuff, but let's just hope it goes, it works well. This looks a little strange, <laughs> not gonna lie. I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have traced my friend's design since she did um, draw it out. <laughs> okay, wait, can I draw, um, can I connect two lines? I actually haven't tried that out. Okay, so you can add it in yourself. Oh. I want to turn this into a curve. Will it work? I think I have to zoom in. Okay. Okay, zoom out and I'm just gonna make this outline thicker. I'm gonna go to fill and stroke with the shift control F. And it's gonna pull up the sidebar and I'm gonna go to stroke styles and you can just like increase the thickness. And I think I'm gonna do this to just fill in all the gaps. It might be a little bit faster. This is a bit messy. <laughs> Tracing it could have been faster, but YOLO. Okay. Is that the last gap? Interesting shape. This is organic. That's what I'm going to call it. And I'm going to just group this so now we can move it. Okay. 
And well, now we have to make the background color. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm just going to zoom out. I'm going to press Control C, Control V, duplicate it. And let's see what happens if I press fill. Okay, so we have to manually fill it in ourselves. Um, this might be something, I think because we're just doing like the background color, this is something I'm going to manually trace. So I'm going to hit the draw drawing tool over here. So it'll give me straight lines. And I'm just going to pick a color that is like very visible. I'm going to do this bright pink. I usually default to this. I think this is a good color to trace with. And because we're doing all straight lines, I think this will work. So I'm just going to like try to trace like the general shape. Can you see like what I'm doing? Let me zoom in. I'm trying to do like the general shape of this like crystal so that we can get we can get like the background shape to fill in. And we can edit this later so no need to make it perfect but I'll like, try and get it accurate. Okay. And now we're I joined it back to where we started. I'm gonna press fill. Okay, and perfect. I'm gonna set it to this bright pink color. And I'm gonna hit no stroke. And okay. Generally pretty good. I'm just gonna edit the nodes to like fill in where there's white space. So like here there was a curve. So it didn't really fill in right, but we can just hit edit path node. We should be able to edit this. Let me hit curve. Okay, yeah. And it'll give me like a little curve to play with. And I'm gonna hit corner. So these two, like, I'm gonna hit curve again, like right here. And hit. That one, actually, I could have left it as a corner, but... Yeah, and you just do that to, like, where there's any white spaces, and we're just gonna, like, curve those, um... Like, those points to fill in the white space. And because it's a crystal, don't make it too curved, but... I assume you guys know what you're doing. Let me make this a corner again. Okay, and then same thing. And then hit curve and curve. And remember this pink is gonna go behind the block, so it doesn't need to be perfect at all. Okay, let me zoom out and see if it works. I'm gonna move it away from the flower just so it's easier to see. Okay, and I'm going to hit this, and then up here you can like rearrange like uh, which layer is on top and which one's not. So I'm going to hit send to the bottom. And, okay, looks pretty good. Wait, what's like a gemstone color? Like blue? Okay, that looks pretty good. The only part is like the bottom, uh, pretty messy. So what I'm going to do is, um... I'm actually going to delete it. So what I'm going to do is zoom in. And I'm going to delete everything on the inside. Because I don't think we need those black cutouts, to be honest. Because we're going to be putting flowers over the base. So we don't need this. So we're going to cover that up mostly with this flower and then what I'm going to do is I guess I'm going to I will have to end up manually tracing the flower. I should have done it from the beginning. <laughs> but um okay. SpongeBob flower. 
kind of does remind me of the SpongeBob one. Okay, so this is why I don't really like manually tracing. Like, if you saw the crystal, that was manually traced really fast because it was mostly straight lines. I have a little bit more trouble with the curved lines, but we'll try. Let's see. Okay. So, I'm just gonna... You can actually, like, make it curve, like, as you're going, but I just like to start everything, um, with straight lines, and then I like to turn it into curves later. I've had the most, um, luck with that. It's, it's honestly just what you can visualize, like, if you can, uh, visualize how to draw the curves better, then I don't think it'll be as hard. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna go to, um fill in stroke which is shift control f and i'm gonna fill it in again i'm still gonna i'm just gonna do that bright pink because it's easy to see and then hit stroke paint none okay now we can edit this <laughs> so let's edit the corners so they're like out the outside Okay, and I'm just gonna hit curve on all of these. To select a bunch at once, just draw square over them. And then you can hit curve and it'll turn them all into curves. And I'm just making sure to do the outside um, nodes and not the inside ones, because the inside ones should still be corners like this. It needs to be a corner. I actually already have a flower design that I could use, but I started this, so. Okay, let's just move this away. Pretty decent already, but let's fix it a little bit. Um, I always just like to delete any, any node that I think is unnecessary, like these ones. I don't think they need to be there. And now we can just use these tools to get the shape like we want it. So I'm actually going to delete that. Okay. Okay, see, this didn't take too long, honestly. I just hit a bunch of add nodes there so that the node could be in the middle of the petal. I think that makes the shape less um, lopsided. And again, I'm just trying to make sure as much as the pink is underneath the black as possible. So like the black is actually sticking onto something. Okay, and let's select this and move it just to see what it looks like. It looks pretty good, it looks like a flower. <laughs> so I'm gonna send it to the back, and this is what it looks like. Interesting, interesting. What if we just hit, um... The reason I'm not just hitting, like, I didn't just make a shape and then just, like, um, press, like, stroke paint, is because the um, stickers on like when you're actually making it on um, the Cricut Maker Space, it's not gonna recognize um, stroke paint and fill paint as different things. Like if I had just combined this as one shape, like say I just like, let me show you. Like if I just tried to hit like stroke paint and I just like was like, oh, I'm gonna just do it like that. It's not gonna recognize that as two shapes. It's gonna actually just laser that out as like just the, just the pink. It's not gonna be like, oh, let me cut out the pink and then let me cut out the black. So you do have to make them separate shapes. That's why like, even though this looks like really wonky, I might just keep it, but let's see if we can fix it up a little bit because it is a little, 
it's a little too wonky for me. <laughs> Let's put it over. Let me just hit Control D. So it was placed exactly where it used to be. Okay. Like, I think the only pedal that really needs to be fixed is this one. And the inside of this. It looks kind of cool, but like, also doing a bit much. Or maybe not. Let me just move it in. Okay. This looks like a Hawaiian, like the Hawaiian print flowers. Kind of. Is that just me? Do you guys see it? I see it. Oh, my friend likes this. It is coming out a little wonky, but I think it looks kind of cool. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's make this a curve. I think you could um, put this down to artistic difference. Yeah. Do you just connect these right here? Why won't this one move? Oh wait, I just deleted it. How do I just connect these? That is my question. Like, why can't I? Why can't I just connect them? Or can I? Do I have to like add a node? Wait, it's working. Sometimes I just try stuff and see if it works, and honestly, sometimes it does. Okay, and then I'm just gonna make those two a curve, and I could probably curve them out. This this design is so random. Look, I could do a much better job of this, but we are just trying to finesse all of it. Okay. Looks cool. <laughs> I think it looks, um, I think like the way it looks matches how like the crystals look. That's why I'm like, I'm not too pressed about this. I think it looks pretty cool, honestly. So let's send this, uh, the black part to the back. And I'm just gonna, um, what color did she want this? She sent me like four different color variations. We could either do it, red, uh, maybe red and black. Though she kept drawing the flowers blue. So I think the flowers are actually supposed to be blue. So let me just like imagine it that way so I remember to uh like print it blue <laughs> let me send this to the front okay so I'm gonna change the color you can do it with the eye drop here I'm gonna change it to this blue oops and I'm gonna change the crystal to um red or orange oops I forgot I have to pick the fill send to back select this eyedropper tool let me just make up a color Okay. 
Okay. And she put two flowers over it, so I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Press Control C V and just rotate it. Maybe not this big. I just drew a square over both of them to like, uh, you know, like select both things at the same time. So I don't have to group it. I can just do this instead. So I just draw a square. And then I use the arrow keys to move it. Okay, and then she also added some leaves. So I'm going to add some leaves. I think I can just draw them. So let me just hit this. I make a diamond shape and then I'm gonna hit edit nose and I'm just gonna make these two curves. Okay, great. <laughs> and I'm gonna do fill, make it green, turn the stroke off. Okay. And it's just click once to change the size and then click twice to um, rotate it. Okay. And send to back. And I'll just press control C V to get the same shape. And I should put two. Like one over here. And then another one. Over here. Oh, I'm trying to rotate it. Let me zoom in. Okay, and I'm gonna select both of them and then send them back. Let's zoom out. Does that look okay? I'm gonna move this leaf. It just looks a little weird. Oops. I think I need to rotate the leaf, actually. The flower, I mean. So I'm going to draw a square with this, unselect the leaves, and then I'm just going to hit group for now so it's easier to edit. And I'm going to rotate that, and then move it a little bit, and then move this leaf, double click, rotate a little bit, okay. Looks kind of weird, but kind of decent. Change the size. Okay. Looks kind of cool. And then she, I just need to add a little circles for the inside of the flower. So I'm going to make that yellow. Control CV. And then just move it. I would make them a little bit smaller. So I'm going to select both of them. And then up here, you can change the height and the width. So I'm just going to make them smaller that way. And I can use my arrow keys to move it. And I don't think I need black outlines for this. Maybe black. I'll add black outlines on the leaves just because they're on the outside. But for the yellow, I'm not going to. So I'm going to set this to the back. Okay, 
okay and do the same thing for these two. I just press control C V. Um, change the card to black, send it to the back. And then I just change the the thickness. So I kinda give it an outline. This is interesting. This design is pretty interesting because it's like not as neat as my usual ones. It's like more geometric, but I kind of like it. I definitely like the crystals. The flowers I'm still like uh, about. So let me see. I might. Um, let's see. I'm gonna give me. I'm just gonna give myself five minutes to see if I can fix this. And if not, I'm gonna go ahead and print it. So what I'm gonna do is ungroup this, delete it. I'm actually just gonna trace this again. I could do this slower, but I don't like to. Um, here, let's see. You know what you can also do is you can just press, you can hit star. This actually might be faster. I'm gonna hit, I always forget about the star tool. You can hit star, and you should be able to edit the points on this. So let me hit, um, there's like settings for this. Okay, corners, five. I'm gonna change it up here. Rounded, one. Let's see. Okay, no, actually rounded, no rounded. Okay. And then what if I just edit the nodes? Does it let you edit the nodes or does it only let you edit two? That's so interesting, it only lets you ed edit two. Huh. Okay, well what happens if I make it round? Rounded? The rounded makes it kind of weird, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay, I don't really want to fix this, like, put in the time to, like, make it super neat, because I honestly I think it matches the rest. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. If anything, I'll just make it a little bit thicker. Do I even want to do that? No. Okay, so I'm done with this. I think um, what could be interesting is, let me see if I could um, get the sticker machine to like cut out some of this in different colors. So what I'm going to do is um, delete the flower parts. could do is I could just print the same design twice 
and I could just use an exacto knife to cut out um, certain parts of this. I think I might just do that instead. Cause I didn't make like um. Oh, let's see. What if I hit difference? So I'm gonna select both of these, and I'm just gonna like go in with a different like um, options and see what happens. Okay, this is interesting. This is what I wanted. So I hit difference, and I'm just gonna make this orange, and I'm gonna go ahead and um, delete some of the shapes so that only like parts of them are orange. So I'm gonna make like this middle part orange maybe, so. And this way you can make different sides of the crystal different colors. So that's how it'd be like red. This is like unnecessary, like you don't have to do this, but I like to give myself a little bit more work. <laughs> okay, wait. So let me zoom in and let me try to line this up properly. Okay, okay, okay. So now we can see what we're doing. So like, say I just like wanted to make it like slightly different color. Yeah, like for example, if I wanted to make it red and pink, you know? Let me pick like a brighter color so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, okay. Can you see the contrast? Okay, yeah, you can. I never know why it looks so wide on screen. <laughs> I swear it's like, it looks like, uh, like that. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, reading the chat. The color line is interesting. The colors might be competing too much. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna pick like these actual colors when I do it. I'm just picking it kind of randomly right now. <laughs> and um, I like to be extra, yeah. <laughs> I think the colors I'll actually go with, maybe I will do red, orange, and yellow, but the vinyl colors are like a little bit different, so it shouldn't be as bad. And then I'm gonna, um, it's actually low key harder to tell what you're working with, so I'm actually gonna move it again. So, okay. And I'm just gonna delete the like the shapes most on the right because I'm gonna have those be red and then yeah for now let me do that and the reason I'm doing this like super freehand is because I don't put too much pressure on myself to like get it perfect the first time around like sometimes obviously yeah like i want to be a perfectionist but i think like uh with a sticker machine like you can always remake a sticker like the first time doesn't have to be the last time so i kind of just like do it to test what it'll be like because i know it's i'm gonna make the sticker again so there's no no pressure to get it perfect on the right on the first try delete all these And just like you can make it flat. Okay, and then I'm gonna copy this again. Click on it, press Control C, Control V. Why is the opacity different? Let me make it okay all the way. And I'm gonna hit like yellow. Okay, not that yellow. That's a bit hard to see. Um, Okay, yellow. I should have like picked easier colors on your guys' eyes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, and for the yellow, we're gonna just have the leftmost side because that's gonna be the lightest side. So I'm gonna get rid of everything in the middle. This looks really complicated, but it's really not. You get used to it. So like what all the lines mean and everything.
got a little bit messy. Okay. And on this side, delete these. Okay, and now we're gonna place them on top of each other so you guys can see what I'm actually doing, so. Okay, yeah, it should just like snap into place when you get close enough, okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of the, like the bottom part of the yellow. I'm like trying to think of a way to like connect this. Okay. Okay, and I just delete these. And whenever I want to make a straight line, I just like use the, the nodes and just drag them over. Zoom out. Do the same for the pink, honestly, because you want the red to be at the bottom. Just drag a square over everything and then hit backspace. Same over here. Oops. And I just drag this over here and this one over here. And it should be perfect. Hopefully the flower will the flowers should like I'm gonna try to cover this up with the flowers. Okay, um, send to the top. Oops. I should have grouped these flowers when I had the chance. <laughs> okay. Send to top. And I'm just gonna. Move this further in. Okay, and then move this further up. Make it a little bit bigger and it should it should cover everything up. Okay, I think it worked pretty good. I'm just gonna drag the yellow a little bit further down if I can. If I can select it. That's the pink. Okay. The yellow. Just zoom in a little bit more. Where did that go? <laughs> Sometimes this can get like a little complicated. Okay. So this line, this is the line. Okay. 
Okay, I just dragged the yellow so it was behind the flower, so there like wasn't a straight line there. Okay, looks pretty good. Instead of pink, I would make this like orange. Okay, and can you see the vision now? It looks more like crystals, cause there's like, I don't know, I think it does. There's like three different colors. <laughs> so this is our final design. Let me delete everything else on here, so. And just to show you guys like the different shapes that are gonna be cut, I'm gonna drag this out, press Control CV, drag this here, and these are gonna be like we're gonna have these layers, so from left to right. I'll do it in the order that we're printing it. So we'll have a red layer, and then we'll have orange, and then we'll have yellow, and we'll have black, and then we'll have... I should connect the black, but um... Yeah, I think I should connect the black. I should connect the black on the flowers, because that's gonna go on top anyway. And we have two, we have blue, green and yellow so let me move all of these here and we are going to grab these colors why do you print them in layers okay so the for the vinyl um i'll show you guys what it looks like there's like different ways to use the cricut maker um machine um, what some people do is they like print um, designs onto paper and then you can put like a protective layer on top and then stick it onto um, like make it a sticker that way but um, I don't know I just don't do it that way I do it with the vinyl because like that's what um, we have at the library and I think it looks cool so like the vinyl is like these these plain sheets so you can't like just like draw a design onto it like you have to print it in layers so like Say I use this for my yellow layer, like, I would have to cut it out in a yellow layer and then pr put this layer on top of the orange. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's because you're using flat colors, basically. So, like, if you want to use multiple colors, you have to layer them on top of each other. So this one has a lot of layers. The sticker is probably going to look pretty 3D. Oh, we also have gold. I could have done something with that, but... I could make the edges of it gold, maybe? Who knows? Oh, that could actually be kind of cool. The I think the I think the yellow maybe I could do the yellow with gold. We'll try it. Okay, and time to pick colors. We have this big box, so I'm just gonna sort through this for a second to see if I can find um, red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Almost the whole rainbow there. Okay. Okay, we do have gold, so I think I might use that. Um, I also have to change the sizing of the crystals, but I will do that on um, the Cricut Design Space. Okay, let me see if I can find these colors. Okay, we have a dark red. This could be cool for a shadow. So like, yeah, obviously what you design on Inkscape, it's not going to be the exact same color um, when you print it unless you have those colors um, in vinyl. So like, take a look at like what colors we have and design accordingly. I always just design first and then I go through and I pick the colors, to be honest. Because we have, we have a like, this is, there are a lot of colors in here, so we should have mostly everything. Just it might not be like the exact shade you want. Like I think last time I made a green sticker and I want it to be like a sage color and we don't have sage but we had like a light green. So I just used the light green. It's like a similar in the end. Okay. And I have red, orange, yellow, gold, and I needed green. I mean, leaves, so I think this will be good. Or like this sheet, we have a bigger sheet. And yellow, okay. So, now we have to make choices. What does the chat say? It's a very interesting process. 
Yeah. <laughs> so, let's see. I can either do it according to what I have on Inkscape, like with the, the red, orange, and yellow, or I could just do, like, I have different shades of red here. Do you see, like, a dark red, a true red, and like a more orangey red? Okay. Help me decide. Do you guys think I should do like dark red, red, and then where the yellow is on Inkscape, should I do gold? Would that look cool? I think it could look cool. Yeah, I'll do it. I think it could look crystally. And then I'm gonna put these away. And I'm gonna use the green for the leaves. Oh, it's gonna give me kind of Christmas because it's red and green. <laughs> Oops, did that on accident. And then we'll do yellow. Oh, we need we need blue for the flowers. Let's see what color. We could do dark blue or I think purple would look cool. I'll do purple. I feel like that would clash a little bit less. Let me see if we have a purple. We have purple, and we have blue. I'm looking at the reference photo. If you if you keep seeing me look down, that's what I'm looking at. Okay, what do you guys think? Which color should I do the flowers? Red and green is unfortunately Christmas. Yeah, I'm trying to steer away from that. I'll do the, uh, I'll do dark blue flowers. Yeah, I think that can look nice. Okay, so I'm gonna s export this to the Cricut um, design space. So I'll show you how to do that. Let me put everything away. So, I still never figured out how to just like pull it up. So I always just like screen share it. Let me just take a second. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll screen share it. So, I'm gonna close Inkscape. Oh wait, I forgot to save my design. So I'm gonna hit save. Always make sure to save. Oh, and the one thing that I wanted to do was before was I wanted to combine the, uh, the all the blacks. So I'm going to erase all the small parts. And this will make it so that like, you can print all of the black parts at once instead of um, having to like layer on different layers at different times. Like this would just make it a lot easier. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna press Control C V. And I'm going to try to delete all the color layers. So, like the yellow can go. And the black is on top, so just like send it to the back. And I'm just deleting like the blue. Here I'm deleting all the greens. I didn't ungroup this. Okay. Huh. I didn't think this through. <laughs> Because I just made like the full leaves the background, I actually can't add these to the outline. And because I, the flowers are actually on top of the rest of the layers, I just have to leave it actually. I have to, I do actually have to do all the black layers separately. So I'm just gonna delete this. I'm gonna select this whole design and move it. Oops. 
I'm gonna press Control All and just move this down. And I'm gonna hit Save. And now I'm going to open it up in the Cricut Design Space. So I will be screen sharing for the rest of this. So let's see. One second. I'm trying to figure out how to screen share this without screen sharing my whole thing, although I might have to. Okay, I figured out how to screen share. Last time I didn't know how to do this and I had to, um, I had to like, uh, screen share like my whole <laughs> entire screen, which was kind of messy. So I'm going to transition. So this is the, um, the Cricut design space. So made it a little bit larger so we can follow along. So this is like when we first open it so i'm just gonna hit new project and it'll open up this like um this workspace and if you haven't seen one of my previous live streams then i'll explain again that the grid on the cricut design space is meant to correspond to the grid of like the um like the mat that we use to print so you stick the vinyl onto this and this surface is actually sticky that's why there's a plastic layer over it and you'll stick the vinyl and it'll automatically stick and you put you slide this into the Cricut Maker. I'll show you how to do it in a little bit, but um, the grid corresponds here. I think that's super helpful because I'm not good with measurements. So I just like look at this and see like, oh, how big would I want my design to, design to be? And then I size it accordingly in here. So with this canvas, I'm gonna hit upload and that's just how you upload a design. And I'm gonna press upload an image. I'm gonna browse and I'm going to select my file and it's saved on a USB how come I didn't okay wait I'm gonna upload this but if you notice it doesn't have all the black outline so I'm gonna press insert images and if you see this is actually not filled in so I'm gonna open up a uh, Inkscape again, and it looks like it's probably an uh, issue in Inkscape. So let's go back to that because this part, as you see, is not filled in. Okay, so I'm going to close this and go back to Inkscape. Okay, and see what the issue is. Sometimes these things happen. That's why I kind of like to do the design neatly, but today I just kind of went in on it to see what would occur. I think what needs to happen is, let's see, search control C V. Or let me just remove the black part so it's like a separate thing. Honestly, it looks kind of cool even without the black, but I think the black could be cool to like separate the image a little bit better. Okay, and where were the problems? The problems were in this center part right here and the side right here, the side right here, and the outside of the flower. I think I know what the issue is. I think it's like if the lines don't correctly like correspond. So let's see, let's zoom in. See how this is connected. I'm actually not sure why this would, would have an issue. So it looks like right here there's an issue, this whole part. Let's see. What if I just draw a square behind this? Select it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit difference and I'm going to see if that's just going to fix our issues. I don't know why it would, but it might. 
object. Now I'm gonna hit exclusion. That did not work. Or I have to select both. Okay. And now we erase like the corners. And it should connect everything for us. Okay, let's see if this works. going to press control CV drag the block off and then replace it with this send to the top I don't know why that would fix it but I feel like it might. <laughs> so that's my version of troubleshooting. If you don't really know what to do, just try something and then maybe it'll work, who knows. And I'm gonna actually group this and then see if it sends to the top together. I'm gonna select this too. Okay, I'm gonna hit group. I'm gonna put this on top. Control G and then send this to the top. his save. Let's hope this fixes the problem. <laughs> so I'm going to delete this and then press upload again. Upload an image. And it, and it worked. At least I'll say it worked for, um, as you can see, if you can see, it worked for the crystal, but it did not work for the flower. So I'm going to go back and do it for the flower. And again, what we did is we just like drag this off the screen and then I'm going to get rid of the leaves because I think those are fine. Hit on group. Oop, we have to hit on group again. And then move the colors away so it's just the black. On group. I'm just going to draw a square behind this, make it a different color, send it to the back, and then select everything, and then hit object, 
I mean path, go to path and then hit difference, or not difference, hit exclusion. I thought I hit difference, but it didn't work, so let's try that again. That didn't work, so let's try. Exclusion. Okay, an exclusion is what we wanted. See, if you can see like these missing parts, I'm pretty sure that's why it did not work. So now you just hit edit path nodes and you like erase the backgrounds. And anywhere it didn't connect is where is why like it didn't connect in the um, in like the cricket maker. Not sure how to fix these though. Okay, so let's try to connect these. trying to fill in all the holes and then we're going to repeat the process and see if that fixes it. There's also like random nodes so I'm like deleting those. Okay. I hope this fixes it. Because this sticker has a couple of layers so I want to get into printing it but no rush. still a white space in here. Okay, how do I get rid of this space? Let's see. did that somehow. Zoom out. This is like a little tedious. This is why sometimes it is just worth tracing it manually because I'm sure that would have been a bit faster but I'm not that good at it so I never really know like what exactly to do to get like the outlines. Like for this is the outline it's not just the shape. I can do like the filled shapes but like the outlines are a little bit more difficult because you have to go through it again but that is fine. I don't mind like taking the time to edit this, but if you don't have the patience to do this, just try manually tracing it and you'll be fine. Same outcome. Okay. I think we got it. So I'm going to try the same trick and see if that fixes it. Draw a black square over it. Okay, select both of them, hit object, path, exclusion, and I think that should fix it as long as nothing is touching, and nothing is touching except over here, so I think it should work, so get rid of the four corners, okay, and you got a perfect shape, so we're going to use this, and I think there should not be a problem anymore. So I'm going to delete this one and just use this. Okay, so I'm going to hit ungroup until everything ungroups. I just hit it like seven times just to make sure. Okay, and now you can just throw this over it. 
to the front. Okay, and then do it again. And I think this should solve the issue. Oh, this is rotated. I don't know which petal matches. We like rotated this flower, so. I'm just gonna select this whole thing and then press Control CV. Delete the flower, I mean the leaf. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna hit save again. And hopefully this time it works. Okay. So, Cricut Design Space. Hit upload. Upload image. Browse. Fingers crossed. If this doesn't work, we're just gonna go with what we have. Okay, but I think it did. I don't see any issues with this. Okay. There's those two lines, I'm ignoring them. <laughs> so, I'm gonna make this a lot smaller. So, to change the side, I just hit the corners. And you wanna drag this all the way to the top. Oops. And remember what I said earlier, like the squares on there is how big it'll be in real life. So I'm gonna make this sticker. I'm gonna try to keep it within like two by, like two squares across and three down. Let's see if it'll fit. How big is that? A three by three. Let's see. That's like three across and four down. Three across and four down. That's kind of big. Let me try to get like two across and three down. Okay. I mean, this is the size I want. Two across and three down. I'm actually gonna make the sticker bigger just because this one has so much detail in it. Um, I think if I try to make it like that small, like personally I like smaller stickers, but if I make it that small, it's gonna be really hard to like place the layers on top of each other. So I'm going to do this, which is four boxes down and three across. And then just put it in the corner, like wherever you place it on the mat, like on just on the, design space is exactly where it's gonna print here like if you want it to print in the middle of the mat put it in the middle of the design space but I just put it in the corner because I think um, it's easier to line up the paper there and oh did I forget to switch screens oops um, but yeah I lost my train of thought but now we're gonna switch over and you're gonna see us make the sticker so here's like all the things and to print like the part that you want to print it I'm gonna print the red first you have to um, deselect all the other layers so I'm gonna just deselect everything and then only select the red and now we're, it's only gonna print the red and I'll press make it and it'll show you the preview and then I'm gonna press continue and it says conti to continue please connect your maker so this is where we just like turn our maker on there's two wires and i actually already connected them one of them is to plug it into the wall for a power source and the other you have to um connect it to your laptop if you're working on a desktop connect it to your computer not your um desktop so and then we're gonna hit vinyl and then 
then everything else is on the machine. So I'm going to switch screens to show you guys the maple. Okay. So we just move this. And I'll adjust the camera so you guys can see the whole thing. And as you can see, we already hit the power button. There's only three buttons on this, so it's pretty self-explanatory. So we're gonna begin with, I chose the, did I choose the darkest color or the, uh, yeah, I chose the darkest color, so I'm gonna go with this dark red. And you just peel this plastic off. And you place your vinyl wherever you want it. So I just have a little bit overlap on the side, just in case it goes off. Usually doesn't, but and you can use uh, this tool to flatten it down. I just go in with my hand, and you want to make sure it's like it's really stuck down because if it the paper moves, you're gonna have to start all over, and you don't want that to happen. So now you just line it up, line up the corners, and then hit the arrow. And that'll load the paper in. And you have to hold this the whole time. Don't drop this. And now you hit the C's to make sure the design is printed. when it's done, this will blink again, and hit that, and you can take that out. So you can't see because there's not too much, um, like it's kind of, it's not, it's kind of hard to see, but I'll show you guys later. So then you just, you can just peel this off. And you can cut with your scissors. That's why I like to do it in the corner so you don't waste too much space. So yeah. And put that aside and then again, you have to make sure like on here you have to switch colors. So you have to press finish when you're done. And I'm the next color I'm going to do is the orange. So I'm going to press make it. Continue. And you have to do that in between um, every color because if you just put the next sheet in, it's going to keep printing whatever you have loaded. So I did the dark red. Now I'm going to do the light red. I know it's orange on there, but I decided to do light red instead. So I'm going to do that. and then peel it off again and just cut it out and we're 
to switch to the gold. use this one. Yeah, so I'm going to just put this. You can tell if like your piece will fit because you can tell by the grid space. So my design is like four down and three across and this is more than enough. Switch the screen. <laughs> yep. And that's what the computer looked like since I didn't switch the screen. You just hit finish. And I'm gonna hit black next. Or actually I'll cut out the blue first. I'll just set I'll do the black for last. So you should be able to cut out both of the blue shapes at the same time. Cause there's actually no reason for you to actually like um, make two separate flowers because the outline will go over it anyway so now you can hit make it same exact process continue vinyl and let me transition so you can actually see Using the sticker machine is actually really intuitive because the button that you're supposed to press next will blink. And it actually went off the mat, not sure why. So I'm gonna try again. Just cut this off.
actually, because I didn't hit combine, you can actually combine shapes on here, and it just cut out two different flowers. So, that's actually more work on my end, because I'm going to have to figure out how to overlap them properly, but that's okay. I think there's actually a way to combine them, so let me see if I can show you guys really quick. If you don't want them to be separate shapes, like, it's going to read them as two separate shapes. I think you have to actually, like, select them, and then you can press, um, weld. So if you press, like, weld, it'll go together. So I think I'm actually going to do it again with that. Just because I don't want, like, the bulkiness of overlapping it. I can always use those blue flowers for something. Okay, I need a two by two square, okay. This actually helps because instead of trying to like figure out like where to put the sheet and everything, I can just, just cut out like a two by two square. So I'm gonna do that right now. Two by two square is like here to here. Okay, that works perfect. What color do I want to do next? I'm trying to do this like as as like fast as I can because there are so many layers. But so we did all, everything except the black. I should do the green now, so I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna again. I'm gonna select these, and I'm gonna press weld because it'll keep it in the exact same spot instead of like trying to do three different leaves all together. And then I'm gonna just combine the rest while I'm at it. So these, these three, I'm gonna weld those. And then I'm gonna weld these outlines together if I can. Or I guess I actually can't weld these together because they would be overlapping. Those can be welded though. Okay. A bit confused. <laughs> Okay, what was that? I already did the blue, so let me close that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and combine everything that um, I've already done, just so I can like see less things. Weld. Close that. I'm just gonna do the leaves next. Okay, so. The green. Got my green, okay, and I'm gonna move it so it's in the 
up here. When you're using pieces like small as this or smaller, make sure you really stick it down. I did the green. And I think I'm going to do all the black now. Or I guess I'll do the yellow. I'll do the yellow first. And then I'll do the uh, the rest last. So again, I just weld this. We're almost ready to assemble. Using so many colors takes a little bit of time, but it's okay. I think the end result will be good. Again, if it's a small piece, really adhere it. You don't want it to lift up. So if there's a mistake, you can just like go again without reloading everything on the design space. That's what I'm going to do. And now for the last part. We have we have everything except the black. So I'm going to put all the black on here at once. I think if I click actually all of this at once, it won't go on top of each other because I pressed weld. I think it'll be right next to each other. We're going to try it out and see. Yeah, I think that's all the black that's left. So I'm going to press make it. Honestly, I can arrange it myself. So. I'm going to press ungroup. I 
and I think I do have to weld it. Otherwise, it'll make me put in two different sheets. So I'm gonna press weld, and then I'm gonna press. What happened to the second flower? Let me select everything and then hit press weld. Let me disappear. Okay. This means that we're gonna have to put it in two sheets. As you can see, like up here, it says it'll do the flowers next to each other, and then it'll do this next to each other. So, I guess we'll do it that way. I'm just gonna unselect the flowers then. So there's no need to make it more confusing than it has to be. Press make it. Continue. Vinyl and okay. Didn't I just pull out a black? Okay. I don't think I did. Okay. So it needs to be four across and three wide. So it's actually easy enough. Okay, we're almost done. The only thing we will have left is the flowers. So, that's the last thing, and then we'll assemble it. We do have, I thought the flowers were the last piece, but I realized we never actually cut out the leaves. 
So we'll do that. far across it goes. Yeah, it ends before the third line. Okay, and we're finished. I know it is eight o'clock, so technically the stream should be finished, but I'm gonna go for a little bit longer because we spent so much time making the sticker. I wanna show you guys the final result. So I'm gonna put it together and after we put it together, then I'll end the stream, but let me go grab the transfer paper and I'll show you guys how to put the sticker together. So here we have the transfer paper, and let me switch cameras so I can show you guys how to see it assembled. Yeah, we are going to assemble it, so let's see. First, these are all the parts, there are a lot of parts, so we're going to put this together in part. First I'm grabbing my supplies, and I'm showing you guys how to put this together. Let me grab the uh, the assembly mat. these tools to peel the backings on most of this so I'm gonna do that really fast and then we're gonna assemble it all so remove this okay and the toolkit here should make it pretty easy to like lift off all the edges so I'm gonna pull up Inkscape just so I can see like what it's supposed to look like Okay, and we can peel most of this, so. so like this green, I'm just gonna cut it out a little bit more. And if there's like white on the edges, you can just slip this underneath. Oops, not really doing a good job of showing it. Just slip this underneath it, and you can like lift the the backing away. So, oop! Oh, the green should stay. Depends on how well the Cricut cut it out. So it looks like the leaf's lifting a little. So I just hold the inside so it stays, and only the outside goes away. And then you're left with that, and that's what you want. You want like the part you want and then the rest should be white. So I'm gonna repeat that step. I'll do it again with the yellow so you guys can see. Like I just slip this underneath. And then lift it. 
It looks like the cricket wasn't super sharp this time. So you kind of just like have to hold the points that you want down and then peel the rest away. Huh. Usually it sticks really well. So what we can actually do is we can just flatten this so it sticks to the backing and then lift the top off and that should be ready. Or I guess not. I wonder why it did it like this this time. We kind of have to like peel it away ourselves and then stick it back on here. Not ideal. The vinyl didn't really stick like I mean, the cricket didn't really get the shapes to really stick to the back, which is interesting. Obviously, if everything was in the exact same spot that it was supposed to be, it would be like super fast to assemble this, but it looks like we're gonna probably have to assemble this in like parts because like stuff isn't exactly where it's supposed to be, so you guys will see. So this is a pretty big shape, so this one will be pretty easy. You just want to like smooth this, so like the crystal sticking to the backing, because you only want the you only want like the background to lift up. You don't want the actual shape to lift up. Yeah, like this. That's ideal. Just peel this away. have these ones done and then I'm gonna do this blue one next and then just smooth this I think that helps and then use this to just lift the edges thing with the leaves. You just lift that off. Obviously the thicker the shape, the easier, like the red part's gonna be pretty easy. The only part that's not gonna be easy is like the outline, but we will attempt our best. So. Okay. So there are some parts here that it looks like it's gonna be a little bit harder to peel off. So really press it into the backing. That was a horrible noise. Okay. And now try peeling the backing and see if it. This part still kind of stays. Okay. Pointy tool comb is the most in handy. And then it looks like it didn't peel away this part when it should have, so. Yeah. Well, what part is actually supposed to be yellow? Let's see. Let's do the yellow and then compare. 
So these are really thin, so I wouldn't really like try to adhere this to the backing. Okay, and then try to peel it away. And again, you're gonna have to hold this part down to get the stick. And it looks like some parts are repeating, so we're just going to peel that off on the red, because we don't need it. Like this piece. This piece doesn't need it either. I think this piece is actually supposed to be black, so I'm just going to get rid of that too. Okay, we're almost done. Let's peel this part. There's so many pieces to this one. I did not expect that when I made it. I mean, that was on me for trying to make the crystal different colors, but I think it'll look cool. So, let's peel this apart. You're gonna have to peel the inside part of the flowers out too. You can just like lift it. Like that. Sometimes the vinyl can stick to your fingers, but I just like roll it up into a ball. You can just throw it away anyway. and then best for last the outline of the crystal this is the most important part so I'm going to really smooth this down and let's peel the backing away on this one That peeled away really smoothly. And now we just have to peel away the inside parts. For stuff like this, make sure you're peeling like the right part off. You don't want to like accidentally peel the outline off. So I'm making sure I only peel off the inside. Almost done. Okay, and now we got all the pieces. We're gonna assemble it. So to assemble it, you take this 
transfer roll and cut out a piece that you can like comfortably hold and you're gonna use that to stick stuff together. So the first thing I'm gonna stick together is the flowers cause that's like the easiest part, low stress. So just peel part off of this. For the flowers, I don't think it has to be too big. Enough. Yeah. So you have to start with the topmost layer, which I think is the yellow dots. Honestly, though, these dots, I think you could just peel and stick them on here. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. And the second yellow one. Oops. Is it on camera? I'm just going to peel the yellow sticker off and then put it in the center or you could smooth it and then because you want the black layer to be the topmost layer move all these to the side you're gonna stick that onto the transfer paper first so let me do that and then just smooth it on and really get the sticker to stick to the transfer paper. Oh, I should have done one flower at a time. Oops, I'll just cut it. Because they're actually overlapped different, so. Let me cut this. And you can just put it on yourself, but. Oh, maybe the yellow should have been first. <laughs> I think I did it wrong. <laughs> the yellow is supposed to go first over the blue, so let me peel that off. If you don't press it in, you can peel it off, but once you press it in, usually you can't, so let's be careful. Okay, and then I'm going to figure out how to put this on. I have to look at the photo. I think this one goes here. Sometimes, like, because of the way it's rotated, it's kind of hard to tell. Okay. Not perfect, but good enough. I'm going to press it and then lift it off, and it should stick. And then I'll do the same thing with the other flower. Okay, now stick it on and you want to smooth it just so it sticks. You want it to stick to the the white part. Okay, then it worked. And now we're gonna stick the yellow dots on. I just am gonna cut this part off. You can use like the exacto knife that comes in the kit. And just cut anything that overlaps where it shouldn't. You just lift it off. Okay. Perfect. Hopefully we can do the next part a little bit faster because the shapes are bigger. So think about it, you want the topmost layer first, so we want the black to go first and then 
the gold underneath it, then the red underneath that, and then that darkest red. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's try to do this kind of fast. Okay, because <laughs> we are running late, but okay. Basically what we do is cut a big piece of transfer paper out that you can comfortably hold. And make sure your design fits on it. So this does, okay. So you can see I, I stuck the transfer paper on it and really press everything down as much as you can to get the transfer paper to really adhere, especially because it's so thin. Try going like one direction. peel away with it. And then we're gonna do the next layer which is the gold. And like try to line it up right. This is easier said than done. Alright. Ah, how to get it to lay flat. Okay. It doesn't need to be perfect but the closer the better, so. And once, once you stick it on, it doesn't really come back up, so you wanna make sure to get it about right the first time. So, kinda nervous. Oops, okay. Man, this is kinda hard. Okay, let me cut this. I think I cut it too big to hold, like, nicely. if I do the top. Okay, pretty close. It's not gonna be perfect, but as long as it's kind of close, it should work. So, and then lift it up again. Oops, you want it to you want to stick to the transfer paper and not the white sheet, so just turn it around. Press it down. Try to it away. Okay, that works. You can already do the red next. the top right but the bottom not really so let's see okay if you get one lined up the rest should come along so okay got that I'm trying to speed through this. <laughs> yeah, I layer it on the transfer paper. I know you can do it another way, but I do it this way. Okay, and now the final layer. This is the layer you want to get the most right, I think, personally. Okay. And now you want this layer to stick onto the white part because we're going to put the flowers on top. So now I'm going to peel the transfer paper away. So 
Sometimes it won't really stick though. Like this doesn't seem like it's gonna stick to the white. Let's see. doesn't seem like it wants to stick. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it as two separate stickers, I think. So I'm going to leave this as the um, crystal. And then I'm going to do the flowers separately. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And then when my friend uses it, they can stick it on top as they want. I just cut the transfer paper away so it doesn't stick to anything like that. Honestly, I should have left a little bit more space so it's easier to stick onto the stuff like when I give it to someone, but that is fine. And then we have our leaves. We're just gonna stick this on top of each other and then we'll be done. And I'm just gonna I'm just not gonna use transfer paper for this because I think I can get it pretty even with my hands. So. Or there's tweezers too. There are tweezers. So I can just lift it up like that and do it. And then I can it on like that oops and right after I stick this flower on we should be good so just peel this away. I'm gonna use tweezers for this. There you go, we have the two pieces. I try to get them to stick together right now, but I think it might be easier to place them later. And I'll just cover this with a sheet of transfer paper so it's easier to place them. And that is our final product. I think it looks pretty cool. And maybe I would have chosen different colors like pinks and oranges, but I went for all red. But I could easily do it again with different colors if I really wanted to. But that is all for today. I hope that you guys thoroughly enjoyed it. We are, this went for an extra 30 minutes, but I hope it was an enjoyable 30 minutes. So thank you for joining. Happy, um, like, FDOC or like LDOC. I think it's, it's after the last day of class, but happy belated LDOC and good luck on finals, guys. Um, if you want to use the makerspace, we are still open for a little while. So yeah. Hopefully you guys have fun using Inkscape and try out the Cricut Maker Machine and good luck on finals. Bye guys.